We used to use these locker shelves for stop motion, and I still like them except the shadow that is created by the iPad itself and by the shelf here. I just need more lights, and that just means more lights for every table. So we're going with the kickstand here, and no shadows. We tried these um, tablecloths from Walmart, and they just didn't hold up. We tried butcher paper, but it's wrinkled, and it's dark, and there's lots of shadows. And finally, whoo, we've come to the green poster, which fills the entire screen. These posters are brand new. Please take care of them. Please don't wrinkle them, bend them, tear them, or put marks on them so all the classes can enjoy making the green screen video. You see I taped it all the way around. Uh, hopefully that'll keep it more secure. You don't see the tape unless you move too far down or too far up. So we're gonna keep it right here in the middle. The table's not quite wide enough for our camera. Poster is perfect, so it has to hang out a little bit. And it's important the ruler come all the way out to the very tip of the corner here to help keep that stable. And the same thing here, all the way out to the corner to keep it stable. So we're gonna keep that corner where it is. Please be careful not to bump that corner. And so I put little caution signs here. Please be respectful of this end of the poster. Keep it flat, nice and neat, looking good. See how this side does not have an overhang? This is where you stand to move a little. Not on this side, because we don't want to accidentally lean on the overhang and curl it. But yes, on this side. When you go to watch it, for some reason the corner shows up, but that's okay. Uh, there's a way we can edit that out in iMovie, but we're gonna make sure that it is just green Whoop, not like that, not like that. A little bit over, there we go. Green all the way. It's very important when you capture that you gently capture. If you push, this is what it looks like when you watch it. So please repeat after me, do not move the iPad. Keep the iPad where it is and gently. Unless I ask you to, do not pick up the iPad. Do not bring it to me. If you want to show me your video, you can raise your hand. I will come over to your table to see it. These are very expensive. And I don't want to risk dropping them. So please keep the iPad at your table and don't move the iPad. If you've watched your video at 30 images and you like what you see and you want to keep going, you have to be careful because if I pause it with six out of 31 and I try to resume, the next pictures I take will be added between the previous number six and number seven. When that's not what I need, I want to pick up where we left off and keep adding on to the end of the video. This was picture number six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that, but all the way to the end. Now it's the 31 out of 31. So when I go camera resume, I'm at the end of the video and I can just keep going from here. If the background is showing, it's tempting to want to pinch apart to zoom in but then you're so close you can't even tell what you're looking at. So I do not recommend that. Instead, I'm gonna back all the way out and then just set the iPad in a position. The eye, the camera's right here, so you want that in the center. The iPad's off to the right, but the eye is in the center here. And we have all green background, we are ready to go. Now I do not want to use a green animal, even if I'm studying camouflage, because the green on green, I just won't be able to see it at all, except for the little dot. I'd rather use a red animal and then have red objects to help that animal hide. So we're not gonna use green animals on a green screen. Come down to where it says iMotion. It's the one with the clock and the camera. And we're gonna say new movie. I don't want time-lapse because time-lapse goes click, 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 click automatically. Instead, I wanna go to manual. That's where I control the clicking and then start. Now the screen looks great, it's all green. I need to make sure the shadow is turned on. That's off, that's turned on. And here we go. Hands up, capture, move a little. 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 I might even have it dip down. Hands up, capture, move a little. Hands up, capture, move a little. Hands up, capture, move a little. How many? That's eight images. I need to go to 30. So as we mentioned, only a few videos don't work. <laughs> Here it just goes back and forth. 
And here with 45, it looks better. So the more pictures you take, the better. We stop at 30 just to make sure that it's looking good. There's not mis too many mistakes. And then if we like it, we can continue. Or if we need to start over, it's only 30 pictures that we're missing. Now, most movies and videos are about 24 to 30 frames per second. That means if you have 30 pictures, your video is going to last about one second. So if you want two seconds, how many pictures do you need? 60. And three seconds, 90. So the more you take, the better. Just remember to stop at 30 and watch it to make sure you're looking good. If it is, keep going. You can tell by the shadow I've already moved. And I do not want to go that far. I want to move just a little. Hands up. If I accidentally get a hand in there, I've already gotten about halfway through. I don't want to waste time. So I'm going to keep going. So I'm just going to do capture again. I'll take the hand out later. Hands up, capture. If the focus uh, loses focus, you can just move your hand back and forth and it will refocus. And look at that, 32. It's okay if I go over a little bit. Now, if I want to watch it, I press stop. If I press stop one time, it says, are you sure? And then it goes back the way it was. So I got to press stop two times. One, two. And there we go. I don't know why it looks yellow for a second there. That's unfortunate. But I can fix that. The play button is also the pause button. And right next to the play button, I can go back. So this is number 19. That's picture 18. Picture 17. I'm going to keep going back until I see the picture I don't like. There's the hand. The minus sign. If I press it once, it says, are you sure? and then it just goes away. So you have to press it twice. And it's confusing because it looks like it's covered up, but it's still there. So two times, one, two. Now the hand is gone, so that's better. Now I need to work on that yellow one. I'm on number eight. I'm gonna back up until I get to that. Ooh, that is weird. And then I'm gonna say minus sign. And now I can press play. It's pretty good. It looks like that corner up there is showing. I can fix that later in editing. There we go. Oof. So minus sign two times. One, two. Now if I like this one, I'm gonna go back. So there's mine. To give mine a title, I have to go to my movies. And there's a plus sign next to my video. I'm gonna go plus sign. And then I'm gonna rename it. Let's say this is for um, fourth grade. And then done. So next time it'll be easy to find because it has my grade level and then it has the name that I gave it. It's tempting to want to make your animals fly by holding it while you take the pictures, but clearly you can see that my hand is showing in the picture. Uh, one way to do it is to hold it, you know, like this, but that makes it look too big, right? So there's a simple solution to that. You just put it next to the animal. And then capture, and then hands up capture, hands up capture, hands up capture. And what happens is it looks like it's flying over it when really it's just going around it. And to show you how good that looks in iMovie, here you can see I put the green screen on there and flying right over it. To make your animal fly, do not have to pick it up. Leave it on the screen and just move it a little further over. Same if you want the spider to jump. You just capture, move little hands up, capture, move little hands up, capture. And you get the same effect. When time is up, we need to stop. There is a home button here. We're gonna press the home button. And then the top left corner, there's a sleep button. You're gonna press the sleep button and that's gonna help save power for the next class. And then of course I wanna test it. So I'm gonna to go to video. Export means I wanna send it somewhere. So I'm gonna to go to export. I don't want photo or GIF, I want video. I'm going to say photo library. Send it to my photo library as a video. <clears throat> now I'm done with iMotion. Now when I open iMovie, 
Here you can see I'm in somebody else's project. So I'm gonna tap done to back out of that and then go back to projects. I'm gonna say movie. Storyboard and magic movie are different. I want just movie. And then there's the one, I think that's the one that I just did. Oh, you know what I remember now. Cannot do it that way. We have to go to, I have to do a background. Be careful, backgrounds here is confusing. These backgrounds actually might work. They're just solid colors. So I'm gonna to go to blue. I'm going to say create movie. And now it's all blue, right? Now I want to add. So I'm in the top right corner is a plus sign. I want to add. I always like to go to, well, let's see. I want to add video. Recently added. There's my red fish right there. Now, instead of doing add the plus sign, I'm going to come over to the three dots. I don't want to put something where the blue is. I want to put it on top of the blue. So three dots. And then there's a green screen, blue screen. So I tap on that. And then Abra movie magic. And there's the fish. Now I realize I could have just used a blue poster for this. That's hilarious, but it still works. And then I can go back later and I can add um, audio over here. See where it says media, there's audio. And there's sound effects. And then there's bubbles. Cool. All right. All right, I need a cool background for my fish. So I'm going to come down to Safari. And then I'm going to type under ocean, because I want it to be underwater in the ocean. Tap go. And then at the top, you'll see where it says images. I'm going to tap on images. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And I'm going to go, let's see how this one looks. That's pretty great. I'm going to press and hold it. And I'm going to save to photos. So now in iMovie, I come over here and I can go back to media, albums, recents. And there's the one, ocean underwater. And it moves automatically. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to turn that off. Ken Burns disabled. Now I'm going to add my fish, but I don't want to do plus sign. I want to do three dots because I want to add it as a green screen. And then... There we go. There's my fish swimming along. Now you'll see the top up here. What I can do for that is you tap on the green screen clip and there's a box. If I tap on that box, I'm gonna drag it down so that the background disappears. And then this all the way over. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I missed a little bit. So back to the green clip, that part over there, I'm gonna come down a little bit further. And there we go.